Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to create automatic presets or automatic palettes inside of Onyx. For those who aren't familiar, if you come from uh, other consoles, like for example, I learned Hog before I, I got into Onyx at all, and I know MA, right? And some of these consoles, specifically Hog and MA, uh, which are two very popular consoles in the US, but I think Avo does this as well, many of them do this. You go and you patch your fixtures, and either it automatically goes and creates palettes for your colors, or you patch them you hit a couple buttons and it automatically creates these palettes and groups, right? So how do you do that in Onyx? That's, that's a question we see often. And the first thing you're gonna notice if you ask, if, if you look in the manual, whatever, is there is no auto palettes function. Okay, is that the end of this video? No, because it's really not difficult. So I'm here in the, the uh, demo show file for Onyx, which you can just go load on any Onyx system, find the folder called samples, pull up the Onyx training. Actually, let's just do that quick, just to get a fresh one. So 2022, See, this looks like the most recent version. Load this guy up so it's fresh. Um, I recommend anytime you're in Onyx, not only having auto palettes, but it actually extends and becomes um, much more helpful if you have your console build other stuff for you. Um, let's walk through how to do that here. All right, I've got the show loaded. I'm gonna click into a view. And so basically the process we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clone in fixtures to our show every time we start a new show. So you basically get this rig here, right? With the demo show that has uh, these washes and then these spots and then these beam fixtures. And these are the darts 360, which, you know, if you use beam fixtures a lot, I would substitute it with a beam fixture you use a lot. Um, the darts is a great fixture, but it does have RGB color mixing and most beams do not. In fact, every other beam on the market does not. Uh, and so that's not necessarily the best thing, but you get spot wash and beam, and then you get some front lights here, and, and, and then you get these pixelated bars. Okay, let's walk through it. So what I would do to start to make a demo show is, is I would go ahead and delete a whole bunch of stuff, okay? So you could keep these cues around and and your new fixtures will be in them. Or you could delete a bunch of cues, you could delete um, extra presets you didn't think you would use, whatever. Okay, um, then go ahead, and what I like to do is basically, I typically, to build a template show, delete it down to just a couple of fixtures, right? So you can take this a lot further than this is, like I have one with a lot of playback buttons with predefined color setups. Um, but in in the the very simplest form, um, we'll just go ahead and patch some new fixtures here. Okay, um, we'll go ahead to commands, new fixture, and now I'm going to grab something new uh, as to clone to. Okay, so let's just go ahead here, and uh, I guess we'll stick with team elation here for this video. And what do I want? I want some kind of wash fixture that's not the ones that are in it. Um, so let's do, they did the fuse wash in here. So let's actually just do the ADJ. We'll do like the Vizzy wash, whatever. Yeah, where's the, where's the one I was thinking of? Those ones, the Vizzy wash Z19. Uh, we'll put it into a mode that doesn't have a lot of segments. Cool. So we'll go ahead, say you're going to patch, you know, 20 of these for a show. Go ahead and patch them. I don't worry about setting fixture IDs and stuff yet, um, because you'll have to change them all. Um, so we patch our fixtures, put them where you need them address wise. Uh, a lot of times I go and unpatch 
the template rig completely from DMX um, because you don't need it. And then what I'm gonna do to create auto palettes is simply use the clone function. So my new fixtures are 504 through 523 at the moment. Um, and my old washes, these fuse washes are 201 through 210, okay? So all I do to get the presets, all of those color, position, intensity, all the presets from the fuse washes to the new fixtures, is simply go to the cloning tab and actually start at the patch tab commands. And if I'm on a console, this is easier to type, um, even just an NXK. Clone fixture, so copy fixture, okay? And then I say, I want to copy 201 through 210. It's been a minute since I did this. At 504 through 523 enter now what this does it brings it in the chart here so you can see if you're doing it right the source fixture where it's starting is the 200 range the target is the 500 range and then it shows me the matchup fixture per fixture now being that i just took um 10 fixtures into 20 it goes ahead and after fixture 10 the 11th fixture, which is 514, um, matches up to the first fixture again, okay? A lot of times I'm going to sit down and just take a minute to, to make it symmetrical, go, okay, you know, um, you know, if I'm doing 10 into 20, I'd probably go like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, um, or I'd go like 1 through 5, then clone 1 through 5, then clone 6 through 10 and 6 through 10, so that any positions that are in there are symmetrical. Um, not a huge deal, but, you know, just saves you a little time. Hit execute commands. And you would do this for each fixture type you have, cloning it to whatever the most similar type is uh, inside of, of your, your show file, your, your new show. And now those have cloned, okay? So those Z19s have now cloned to those fuse washes. Now... If you do have multi-element fixtures like the color course, um, you will have to clone the sub-fixtures uh, individually, okay? Um, that's something that takes a little bit more time, but it is worth it in the end. Now, where does this get us? Well, simply put, um, for anything that's not in Dylos because it doesn't clone on the 2D plan, um, now, when I play cues, so let's just go to a sample cue here, and then I select one of those new fixtures, I will see that it has color, okay? It has pan tilt values. It has been fully cloned. We have auto-generated those palettes from the existing. But we've done so much more than that because you can build a template show in Onyx, and this is where it's so much better than auto-create, that has cues in it with things like colors or positions. And those are all auto-created. And all you have to do now is select those fixtures, say we go to the auto group, for example, and we build our new group. There's more depth to this too with how you clone and whatnot that uh, we, we get into in Orient Stage Lighting Labs. We don't have time to do that here, uh, but we, we go to our group and now we can go to all of these different pan tilt positions. We can adjust the fixtures, re-record, merge into them, do the same with all the colors, um, but now we've got everything auto-generated and more because it's not just palettes that are being created, but full cues that we're able to use in our shows. Um, obviously, there's so much more depth I could go into this, but I like to keep these videos short. Uh, we do have full guides to cloning and everything else inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. We'll have a link to that below. And if you do need Onyx gear, and you're in the U.S., head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com. We're the number one place to buy Onyx gear, and we would love to help you. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.